Hey guys, and welcome to Duality 9X. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Shiraz. We're all Shiraz. Hey, listen, uh, I've got a great lineup of videos uh, for you guys. I can't wait to get into it. We've got everything from like super weird, creepy to like very, very scary. And then of course, you know, the things in between. So uh, if you guys want to support us and if you guys like and see what, what you know, our videos, uh, all, all we can ask for is that you smash the like, subscribe and share this content with your friends. And if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Without further ado, let's go. It's like their resting phase is Jenner just popped up on my feed and I'm noticing this thing between her and Kim. I don't know what facial thing it is that they got done, but it makes them look like they're always smelling something that stinks. It's almost like their resting phase is like, like you know, I can't explain it. So I think what we're dealing with here is a combination of a nose job where the nostril has been elevated a bit, combined with lip filler where the lip is plumper and maybe even a lip flip or a lip lift to shorten the distance between the nose and the upper lip. And Megan Fox may have it going on too. So Kylie Jenner just GTA 6's trailer has references you never noticed. When this lady is wielding two hammers at the camera, it's a direct homage to a real life incident where a woman in California did the exact same thing. I heard and if you notice that. this guy in an orange jumpsuit, he's also a secret reference to a real criminal. This guy became a celebrity overnight when he got arrested, and people realized he looks like the Joker. And the satire continues on the convenience store's entrance. You can find a sticker showing a parody of Apple Pay. In the cover art, you can spot Lucia wearing an ankle monitor, and the trailer shows her talking to a prison officer. Looks like she got out on parole and begins the story of GTA 6 from here. Of course, this game wouldn't be set in Florida without the crazy references. You can spot this guy doing lawn work with no clothes on, and yes, that actually happened. The same goes for this alligator walking into a gas station. These incidents happen all the time, including when a gator took a trip to Walmart in Orange County. If you like the trailer song, it's by Tom Petty, and at the end, you can see a sticker paying tribute to him with Petty Forever in the colors of his album, Full Moon Fever. GTA 6's trailer has references you never noted. I can't, yeah, that, I mean, that game is, the graphics on that game is just so next level. ...his camera and confronts her about his rights. What do you think of this? And Bianca is Tether's free will, some people are saying you're controlling. Why do you feel like it's okay I'm a human being? All of this TMZ, this 30 miles on y'all set to like, all this bullshit. I mean, there's just so much footage on Kanye and I mean, what are your thoughts on that? You know, is, is Kanye is I mean, is he wrong at grabbing that reporter's phone and snatching it away and then stopping to ask her questions and kind of flipping the script? I mean, at some point, they, these guys have a breaking point too, right? I mean, they're constantly like harassed or, or tailgated by these paparazzi and people just asking them a million and a half questions. Can I take a picture with you? Can I do this? Can I do that? Can I ask you a question? Can I? But at the same time, I mean, that's a price that they, uh, I mean, that's what they signed up for, right? That's a price that you pay for being in a public eye. So yeah, what are your thoughts? Love to hear it. What do we got next? And tattooing another why people are tattooing their heads <laughs> for those of you watching this video right now that are going bald or potentially already are bald this is potentially a solution for that i got tagged in this video numerous times and it shows a person tattooing another person's scalp you can see that they're progressively going over this bare layer of skin putting little dots in now this right here is known as a hair tattoo or a scalp tattoo, and the entire purpose for this is to make it look like you still have hair follicles growing out of your head. 
Here you guys can see a before and after, before getting the scalp tattoo oh, versus wow. after, and you can see that there's quite a difference. Now for some people, this might be a more appealing method than using something like minoxidil that you have to place onto your scalp, or taking finasteride, which kind of messes with your hormones, or even getting a hair transplant in which the recovery time takes quite a bit longer. The only drawback that might prevent someone from getting a hair tattoo is the fact that it costs quite a bit of money, between two to five thousand dollars. You also have to go in multiple times before the whole thing is completed to allow the first set to heal. I mean, the cost of getting that done, they're, they're, I'm, I'm hearing there's a lot of people that, that go to Turkey and for the same amount of money, they just get a hair transplant. But, you know, it's the whole recovery time as well too, right? So I don't know, I don't know, what are your thoughts? Things in the World, Part 31. As NASA's chief sniffer, George Aldridge has the rarest job in the world. Nicknamed Nostral Domus, he's in charge of smelling every object that will be sent to the ISS to ensure that nothing smells dangerous or unpleasant. The rarest bar in the world was located inside of a 1,700-year-old baobab tree in South Africa. The 155-foot-wide trunk could fit a 15-person full bar until the tree tragically fell over in 2017. Here's an example of an agatized dinosaur bone. It occurs during a rare preservation process where a type of quartz called agate fills in the pores of the bone. This rare elk steak appears to be cooked to perfection. Wait a minute, is that a salad? Get this out of my face. Out of the 40,000 windows within the Twin Towers, only one of them survived 9-11. It's believed to have come from the 82nd floor of the South Tower, one of the nine floors that was struck by the plane. So I didn't know NASA had a chief sniffer uh, and their only job is to just sniff things, uh, items that would, you know, potentially go to the ISS, uh, the, the space station and to make sure that there's nothing dangerous. But that's really interesting. I mean, you, his, his senses must be a lot different or must be at a heightened level a lot more than perhaps maybe the average person. I don't know, like how, how do you become a chief sniffer? You know, do you go to school for that? Do you have to pass some tests, some exams? Uh, do you, I don't know. This is a little awkward. Oh. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift in the news. Uh, if you wanna thank, if you wanna thank me first, it Absolutely, makes no sense. Absolutely, I would def, yes, you first. Um, always happens good <laughs> and it will always happen Taylor this is your lot in life I know I know I'm not gonna be this person I'm gonna be I want to thank the fans because this is a fan voted award and I absolutely love you with all my heart this is why you should never vape <laughs> Look, I'm sorry guys, but if you vape, you are not going to like this video. This right here is a clip that's been going super viral on Reddit for the past few days, and it was recorded in a vape factory located in China. And this is absolutely horrifying. We can see workers right here sucking on the vapes that they're supposed to be packaging and sending out to customers. And this is not just a one-off, there are numerous workers here doing this and testing the vapes. For those familiar with vaping, this looks like a very popular brand right here, Elf Bar. But the thing is, these are actually counterfeit elf bars. Real, authentic vape manufacturers will use a machine like this right here to suck on the vape and test to make sure that it works. That way you don't get a defective product. These counterfeit locations cut corners and don't have the money for these machines, so they let workers hit these vapes in order to test it. And the crazy thing is, these fake puff bars are extremely difficult to spot, and they are commonly found in gas stations. That is shocking. Uh, I mean, there's, there's so much about vapes now in the news and um, how harmful, you know, it can be with all the chemicals and such, but that was disgusting. I mean, some guys like vaping, like, you know, he's, he's I don't even know what he was doing, but that, that was gross. And then some, some chap is going to end up with that product. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys vape? That was crazy. Never buy this toy for your child. <laughs> this right here is definitely a gift that you would not want to buy for your child. This video that I got tagged in shows a news reporter covering a story where a mother bought a toy for her child and it turned out to be much more disturbing than she wanted it to be. Hello, Hawking. 
toy that the mother bought is a specialized wand known as an evil stick. There are many different an versions evil of the stick. evil stick, and basically when you push a button, the wand lights up, and it shows this disturbing image that's hidden below this cellophane wrap. Now most of the images on here are disturbing for children, but it's not too disturbing where you'd be concerned buying it for your kid. One of these photos though that I can't really show the full picture of shows a demonic girl doing something to her arm. I'm sure that you guys can pick up what I'm putting down here. The mother that bought this toy was obviously yeah. infuriated with the store for selling this to children, but the store owner actually stood by his decision saying that it's called an evil stick for a reason. Come on parents, if you see anything that says evil, stay away from it. That's not something you want to buy for your children. It says evil stick. <laughs> it's expensive items I can find at Erewhon. Right when I walked in, I found $40 sea moss and $14 water. I ended up spending $112 on four items. I've never tried sea moss in my life. It smelled like nothing, but it was kind of pretty in like a goopy way. And I swear it tastes just like tap water. Like when you drink it right out of the tap and it has a weird flavor, kind of like dirty sink water. And apparently it has a bunch of health benefits. You already know I had to try Hailey Bieber's $18 strawberry glaze skin smoothie, which has avocados and Eight. sea moss. Moss, but really it just kind of tastes like a strawberry smoothie from like planet smoothie or something and onto the hot food this box was thirty dollars the mini smash burger alone was nine dollars but it had like caramelized onions and gruyere cheese and this like house made organic burger sauce and the patties were pretty crispy it was like garlicky and this 27 dollar box of fruit might have been the biggest ripoff of the day because the mangoes were hard like not juicy at all and the kiwi was like slimy and old like on the verge of going bad kind of mushy you can get the same quality of fruit at walmart for way cheaper but that's all for today wow. trying the most i mean you hear of people going into fast food places and complaining about the prices you know i paid ten dollars fifteen dollars for a combo this is unacceptable i mean the cost of this if you add it all up i mean if you take the smoothie which is like eighteen dollars and then let's say you pair that up with some fruit which is like twenty seven dollars and then i don't even know the cost of the burger but I mean, you're looking at about maybe 75 bucks, $100 just for a meal. Well, I guess if you're Haley Bieber, I mean, maybe you can afford it. But I mean, that's just, that's just crazy. I mean, would you eat sea moss gel? Especially when it tastes like tap water and or dirty sink water? I'm drinking tea, so... Why you don't no, serve sir, after it rains. <laughs> if any of you guys watching this video surf, then this is some information that you need to know. The video you guys just watched shows this guy doing something most surfers know not to do, that is surfing after it rains. You can see from this frame his board is wow. covered in this brown substance, and when this wave hits him, the water is also filled with this substance as well. Now after some research, I found out that you're not really supposed to surf after it rains for around 72 hours, and this is because there could be harmful bacteria present in the water. This is of course because rain, when it falls, is going to end up flowing downstream into the ocean, and it's going to take the bacteria with it. Most of the time what you're going to have to worry about are sewage runoffs and fecal indicator bacteria. These, if you accidentally ingest them, can cause gastrointestinal illness, otherwise making you sick. According to this guy's video, he was saying that he was swimming in an algal bloom, which is also not a good idea. We've covered that in past videos. Okay, so I did not know that. So, um, so if you guys like to surf, don't surf after it rains. At least wait 72 hours. Otherwise, you might run the risk of being covered in poop. No bueno. People are talking about Jennifer Aniston. So she was just at the Critics' Choice Awards. And, you know, I did a video on YouTube about her in the past. And when I compare back to the photos from years past to now, what I'm seeing that looks a little bit different is the brows, to me, look very different. So it looks like the lateral brow has been lifted in the past year or so, possibly with a brow lift procedure. Also, the area around the eyes, like where the crow's feet are, for example, do look like they have some Botox in them. The forehead looks like it has not been um, targeted much with Botox. You can see the eyebrows able to move up, but the area around the eyes laterally looks like maybe she had some Botox there. And then the other element that I see here is that possibly her philtrum is getting a bit longer, and so you're seeing some changes in the lower face as well. Hmm. 
I mean, celebrities got to do what they got to do, right? Just to, to try to appear, to look younger. Um, but I mean, they're constantly in the limelight. And so it's not surprising, right? I mean, Madonna went through like 40, 50 procedures of various kinds of different things that she did to her face. Uh, a lot of celebrities, a lot of people have gone through this, right? A lot of Botox injections, collagen, I mean, you name it, right? Uh, facelifts and brow lifts, uh, goes on and on and on. Moving away. Oh, okay, <laughs> we got some memes going on. <laughs> oh. guys let's see what else we got good facts part 142 this is the progression of mugshots of a man who sank deeper and deeper into a life of drugs and crime matthew medlin is a schizophrenic who sadly never got his life together after becoming hooked on meth the male babarusa pig can grow tusks so long that they curve backwards and slowly kill him by impaling oh his skull. Gosh. After 12 years of torture in a Hawaiian circus, this poor elephant named Tyke managed to escape, injuring Steph on his way out. He then went on an all-out rampage before police shot him 86 times, eventually killing him. In 1957, a 42,000-pound hydrogen bomb, one of the most powerful of its time, was accidentally dropped by a bomber near Albuquerque, New Mexico. Luckily, it landed in an uninhabited area, so no one was injured or killed. That's just scary, huh? I mean, you got these bombers, these submarines that are equipped with nuclear capability, and for one guy to accidentally just drop a nuclear bomb that is pretty scary the the fact that that happened luckily and I mean it's still quite unfortunate because luckily nobody died at least not from what we know uh, it seems like uh, the bomb was dropped in in an area that that wasn't uh, it didn't have a lot of people or maybe had anyone living there for that matter but what about the wildlife what about you know all the you know the natural habitat you know that was in the area i mean they must have that must have wiped them all out i mean that's just nuts right i mean that's very very scary especially in the times that we live in now and then to think that a plane could be flying over us and accidentally drop a bomb crazy and and this you know this this poor individual who who got addicted to uh, a meth um, that that's that's so sad I mean and he seemed like yeah he was a good-looking guy and I don't know it's it's really sad you know it's it's a terrible terrible drug um, you know all this like stuff that's out there uh, you know with all the opioids and you know things that are just like out there like the street drugs there's they're cheap to acquire but they're laced with so many chemicals to give people that stronger high that they're looking for um, and not understanding this, you know, the ramifications of taking that stuff and what it could do to them long term. Uh, you know, this is a prime example, right? So sad. So this looks like a hemostatic net, which is used for certain facelift surgeries to um, reduce hematoma rates. And there's actually good data to support its use. Um, I, I would say most people don't do that type of technique for every case. It is a bit jarring for patients, but it can be helpful if you're really concerned for a hematoma. Otherwise, I'm seeing the pretty standard um, incisions post, uh, you know, for facelifting. But yeah, I mean, this is kind of scary for someone to see. And it, it looks uh, barbaric and like 
how could it possibly heal well? But people end up healing just fine. And by securing basically the, the surface of the skin down to the deeper tissues, you're trying to reduce hematoma or a collection of blood that can form um, in the deeper tissues after a procedure like a facelift. Holy smokes. Jeez, I don't know if I, I could ever do something like that. Scary stories that genuinely freaked okay. me out. Daddy told me go. to never go in the basement, but I wanted to see what was making that noise. It kind of sounded like a puppy, and I wanted to see one. So I opened the basement door and tiptoed down a bit. But I never saw a puppy then Daddy yanked me out of the basement and yelled at me. Daddy screamed at me to never go into the basement again. But when he gave me the cookie I felt so much better. I didn't ask him why the boy in the basement was making noises like a puppy, or why he had no hands or feet. A daughter was in her room upstairs, doing her homework. When suddenly she heard her mother call to come down for dinner. Links in the comments. That, that is pretty scary. That's freaky. Very. <laughs> She is a very pale, plump woman with long tangled hair and pitch black eyes. This entity can appear both in oh dreams gosh. and in reality. She is also capable of creating her own duplicates. If she has taken notice of you specifically, you are doomed. There is nowhere to hide or escape from her. You can only watch as she slowly approaches you, rubbing her pale hands together. She can drive you insane with her slow approach and horrifying smile. When she finally reaches you, she will affectionately embrace you, pulling you completely into her enormous belly. Who is the pale lady? She is a very pale, plump- Five percent of our oceans have been discovered uh, let's say five to ten percent that still leaves anywhere from 90 to 95 percent of the oceans right that have not fully been discovered that is pretty crazy who knows who knows what's down there
Nope. Nope. Thank you. What does it say? Connection is fun. Connection is fun. That's it. That's what that says. What's going on? Take a bite like corn on the cob. Why am I nervous? <laughs> oh my God. That wasn't nice at all. Fourth hundred four. Prince, Prince. Morbid facts. Part 384. When Prince died in 2016, he didn't leave a will for his estate worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Within three weeks of his accidental overdose, nearly 700 people claimed to be his half-sibling in hopes of cashing in on his death. In 1964, an accident at a nuclear facility in Rhode Island resulted in the largest single full-body dose of radiation in history. The victim received the equivalent to 700,000 x-rays at the same time and died in total agony 49 hours later. In 2005, Indiana man Anthony Stockelman essayed and murdered a 10-year-old girl named Katie. Unfortunately for him, Katie's uncle was an inmate at the same prison he was sent to. As payback for what he did, the man tattooed the words Katie's Revenge across Stockelman's forehead. Stop knocking and trying to open our door at 3 a.m. There was some dude like outside these people's door, uh, apparently at 3 a.m. And he's holding his cat, knocking on it. I don't know what's wrong with people. I mean, just tell the guy to go away. Oh. Oh. God. What's wrong with this guy? Oh. Look, look at his feet or legs or. This guy looks like an alien. Oh. 
on your doorbell cam. You might be terrified to see this on your yep. doorbell cam at 3 a.m. in the morning. I spend a lot of time looking at creepy doorbell footage to show you guys, and this is definitely one of the creepiest. But it almost seems too creepy to me. Like this that was a setup weird. all along. The creature is obviously a costume. Specifically, it's the character Sam from the horror movie Trick or Treat. So what do you think? Costume person with bad intentions? Or a fun Halloween prank? What would you guys do? If you see something like that on your doorbell cam at 3 in the morning and if you're awake would you confront this person like who does that wow Update on that story however this may just be the scariest update presented by the owner now just as a recap the person who bought the house is named Maguro and prior to owning the place the previous owner had been experiencing strange activity this is believed to be the reason why the previous owner had sold the house and moved somewhere else. Although it's not known if the ex-owner continues to experience odd occurrences in his new home, his old house continues to be rife with paranormal activity, which Maguro has been capturing on camera ever since he moved in. But, it was just recently that Maguro had caught footage of something extremely terrifying in the upstairs bedroom. The footage is pretty disturbing to say the least. Before showing that video though, it's worth showing what occurred in the bathroom a few days before this incident. It was 3 in the morning when the following happened. This is what was caught. It's like something's trying to get in or... Oh, wow. Wow. And the clock is still going. This is a little after 3 a.m. Maguro believes that whatever had been inside the inner bathroom was responsible for the strange activity that occurred moments before. As with most incidents, this one has left him baffled. Although pretty creepy, his most recent footage might just be the most terrifying video he's ever caught. The video takes place inside an upstairs bedroom where Maguro often smokes. He smokes inside because his next door neighbor doesn't like it when he smokes around the property. In a previous video, I talked about a man who bought a house that is said to be haunted. The following is an update on that story. However, all right, that's just crazy. I mean, what do you do? You get those kind of weird things going around in, in your home. You notice all these things happen like at around 3 a.m. or after 3 a.m. Amanda wakes up to her friend sleepwalking when this was captured. Lexi? Lexi? Wow, her friend is just- Lexi. Hey. Stop staring at me like that. Alexis! Yo, you're starting to freak me the f out. Mom! Mom! Wow, she hasn't even blinked. Mom! She like suffering from some kind of like, like sleep paralysis or something or... Stop! Why are you crying? That's so weird. Hello? Lexi? Mom! She's just standing here staring at me. It's crazy. Hey. Hey, go lay down. Oh. 
I wonder if that person's been invited to like more sleepovers. Alright guys, well that's it. Uh, there was some uh, very interesting videos, some creepy, weird, I told you, and then there was going to be some very scary videos as well too. But listen, I want to thank you for staying around till the end guys. Please smash the like and subscribe and share this with your friends. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. In the meantime and in between time, don't do anything crazy to yourself. We'll see you. We'll see you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm.